Hey guys, this is Kieran from Eccentric Physio and today's exercise is looking at some squat mechanics and how to figure out, say if you've been losing balance, if you feel like you're going to fall backwards or forwards or you feel like when you squat you can only do like a, a really forward squat and not a really tall front squat. Um, this will be an exercise to help you sort of improve those mechanics and sort of figure out why and, and where you're at. So when we're squatting, you need to consider um, basically if we're talking about keeping balance. So we've got this, say this line, and there's going to be a certain amount of weight on this side of the line and a certain amount of weight on this side of the line. And that weight in this context is our body weight. And that's shared across this line. So kind of like a seesaw, right? Now you're going to do things that enable you to stay somewhat balanced so that if you squat down, you don't fall forward or you don't fall backwards. And part of the reason for that is if you're about to fall backwards or about to fall forwards, then your main priority becomes not falling and it becomes less so about demonstrating power and strength. Um, sometimes weight can be assistive though. So if you feel like you can't control your own body weight, and we use that seesaw analogy again, say my seesaw is dipped down this way on this hand, and I'm not able to shift my own body weight over to this hand over here, then I could put weight on this side of my body and that will shift that seesaw. So there's little tricks around this. That's why sometimes people's squats improve or their overhead squat improves. Maybe they have the mobility, but they just don't have the, the ability to create tension where they need to create tension. And, and that could be for many reasons, depending on where you've had previous injuries. So just to keep things relatively simple today, a quick sort of test you can do which also becomes an exercise is to face the wall and that's going to make you have to do a much taller squat so the closer you get to the wall the harder it's going to be there's going to be a point though where you don't get the benefit anymore because your knees will just hit the wall so start about half of your foot from the wall and just see how far can you squat down before you feel like you're going to fall backwards so looking straight ahead and being able to hold there, okay? So you might find that you need to go narrow, you might find you need to go wide. It depends on the shape of your sockets for your hip and how much capacity you have within those sockets. It has things to do with how long your torso is, the length of your legs, your ankle flexibility. There's a lot of things that go into this. Can I hold my head up and push my ribs forward? A lot of factors. So without thinking too much about all those individual things, just come down and find the point where you feel like if I go further, I'll fall backwards. And when you find that point, come to it and then just back off slightly and then just spend time here. And what you'll find that as you spend time here, it's going to feel probably difficult at first, but you're going to start to melt away some of the tension, some of the excess tension, and you'll start amplifying the necessary tension. Some of that will just happen because you're spending time there and it's a skill. The longer you're in the environment of that skill being needed, then you'll learn. So you could set a timer for five minutes, for example, and just hang out here. And as you get a little bit tired, come up a little bit higher, rest a little bit. I'm still a little bit bent, I'm still engaged. And then I'll come back down. And over time, you'll be able to get down to a range where you feel like you can comfortably rest and not touch the wall Okay, so this will really help create necessary tension. That's the goal with this exercise. Can I create the necessary tension not to fall? And can I reduce the excess tension, which is it could be restricting my movement or it could be adding excess effort to try and execute the movement. Um, so quite a simple test, but I think quite, um, it's, it's better, I guess, done than talked about. Just give it a go see what happens. You'll know pretty quickly because you're going to fall or not. Um, people's solution not to fall would be to shift weight forwards, right? And so if you find that your squat technique is very much hip dominant this way, or like a low bar squat, then you'll probably find that this is challenging too, if you also struggle with a front squat. That being said, the weight of the front squat might help you by shifting that weight forwards instead of your own body weight. And you kind of see what I was talking about earlier. So see if you can master the weight of your own body weight. We're not saying this is a precursor in terms of 
a necessary ability to demonstrate sports performance, but having the ability to choose where you are in space has its benefits when you get into a bit more random environments and you might react differently. Um, a little bit different in terms of like a closed environment, say like powerlifting, um, but that flexibility can still be helpful in terms of helping to generate power, but discussion for another day. So give this a go and let us know what you think. Um, and just remember that the test can become the intervention or it can become the exercise. So get better at doing that test. So spend time here and uh, you'll start to see things uh, improve. Um, each will be individual for each of you. If you like this video, then please hit like below. Otherwise, to check out more of our content in the future, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo over here. And to check out our latest video, click up here.